This is a quick tutorial on how to give your users mail merge type functionality in your app. So what that means is um, one of your users could send an email to a number of people and they will be able to insert dynamic fields such as the recipient's name into the email. So the example I've got here is an app for teachers and they can send out an email, say weekly newsletter, and they can say dear, and then they can insert a variable which is the parents is going to be the parents name and they can say the child's name did well this week uh, and then they can choose from a list of parents and as you can see the parents all have different names and then their children obviously all have different names and when they click send email each of those emails get sent and as you can see this one went to one email address dear michael brian did well this week this one said, Dear Madeline, Sarah did well. This one said, Dear Karen, Arthur did well. And they all went to different email addresses. So this is the kind of functionality that's very useful to have in many different kinds of apps. And it's actually really, really simple to do. So the first thing you need to do is you need to decide what your dynamic fields are going to look like. So in my case, I've just put two square brackets on either side. And then within it, I've put the name of the dynamic fields and I put it in all capitals just to prevent any issues with capitalization mistakes because these are case sensitive. Now it doesn't actually matter what symbols you use to represent a dynamic field or how many you use as long as you choose ones that's unlikely to be used in a normal message. Then if we look at the actual page itself, so very simple input, multi-line input and then a repeating group with a list of the parents from the database and then the send email button. So the workflow here, um, all it does is it schedules an API workflow on a list. So uh, what it's going to do is it's going to send through a list of all the parents that have been selected. So I've got a custom state, uh, which is just a list of parents. And as a teacher uh, clicks on the checkbox, the parent gets added to that list. So uh, when they click the send button, this list is being sent through to this backend workflow. And this part of the dialog box is asking us what parameters, what values do we want to send through for each of the things in this list. So in our case, it's parents, we're sending through a list of parents. So they're saying for each parent that you're sending through in this list, um, what do you want the values to be? So the value of parent, we want to be this parent as in the current parent in the list uh, and then we also want to for all of them send through the exact same email body which is just the multi-line inputs value and the email subject which is the input subjects value and then the next two steps just reset the inputs and clear out that custom state so then if we go to the back end workflows and we look at that workflow it's called send bulk email and here is where I set up the different parameters that I wanted so I wanted uh, for each one I wanted to know the parent and that is of type parent and then also the email body is the text and the email subject. So that's the information we're receiving from the front end. And then I have a send email action here and it goes to parents email. So just to make things a bit clearer. So parents um, have an email address. They have the name of the child and they have the parent's name. And that's all they have. So it's going to go to the parents email. The subject is going to be the email subject and then this is the important part the email body so the body is going to be the email body text that we are sending through but we have got a find and replace here and we are saying find the mail merge term the dynamic value so we had the double square bracket parent and replace it with parents parent name so replace this dynamic field with the parents actual name uh, and then we've got another find and replace here, which says replace child dynamic value with the parent's name of child. So the good thing is you can um, stack as many of these as you want on the end. Um, so you could, for example, um, put in parent lowercase and put the exact same replace it with the parent's name here, just to make sure if the person, if your user types in the variable with lowercase that it would pick it up as well. Um, we could also add a new variable in here, so I'll show you how to do that. So in my database here, I've also got, um, so as well as parents, I've got grades, and the grade is just a number, and it's tied to the parent. So what I can do is I can say, um, so let's make, let's add a new find and replace on the end. And just to show you that you can use any, any type of, um, symbols I'm going to put in curly brace and then the word grade 
and I'm going to say replace it with um, do a search for grades where parent equals parent and then just get the last item and get the last item's grade. So all I need to do now is remember this exact format that I've typed here. So I'm going to copy that and then on the front end I'm going to just add that into my little helper text here just so I can remember. Um, and then if I go back here I now have this additional dynamic field I can use so I'm going to say um, your child's grade dear parent uh, child scored grade in their recent test and I'm going to send it to well I might as well send it to all of them so in my database, I had actually created um, data for each of those. So I created four grades for them. So let's see what emails we get now. So here are the four emails I received. And you can see the names are all filled in and the grades are all filled in um, just based on adding that extra dynamic value. So that's all there is to it, really. Um, you can put as many dynamic fields as you want. As long as you're prepared to daisy chain your find and replaces uh, together, you could also add um, the ability to put dynamic fields in the subject as well. You just need to put find and replaces on the subject line as well. And the most important thing is that your users are aware of the exact format and syntax they need to use to get these dynamic fields.